Hi, welcome to our Synergy Controllers new features video. This is Jacob Shear for Title Engineering Corporation. Whether you are working with a Synergy Controller for the first time, or you still have one of the original controllers released in 2000, we suspect that one or more of these features will make your job easier and save you time. Currently, Title Engineering produces the Quarter Din Synergy Nano, the Synergy Micro 2, and the Synergy Quattro controllers which share a common software and user interface, but offer a range of form factors, screen sizes, as well as input and output capabilities, and with prices that suit any application and budget. Let's get started. We've organized the features into the following categories. Communications, main screen and graphing, logging and network plotting, events and programming, alarms, and miscellaneous new features. The progress bar at the bottom of the screen can be used to scroll between sections while watching the video. For those who would like more information, each feature's application note is displayed in the top right corner of the screen. And in the bottom we have Synergy Man and Kid Retro, Title Engineering's Test Chamber Controller Superheroes. The first category will be the Synergy Controller's new communications features. Number 5, FTP Server. Each Synergy controller comes with an FTP server, which allows users to access, edit, and delete their controller log files, chamber backups, and chamber profiles through an FTP client, such as Windows File Explorer. Number 4. Email and text messaging. The Synergy controller can automatically send alarms and deliver test results logs and plots to mobile phones, tablets, and desktop computers. Number 3. Synergy Server. The Synergy server is the Synergy controller's unlimited centralized program storage server. Using the Synergy server's web browser interface, users can organize their test results, plots, and program files for an unlimited number of chambers and ovens in multiple locations. Number 2. Barcode Scanning The Synergy controller supports barcode scanning for process automation and error proofing. Operators can use the barcode scanner to automatically execute a set of commands stored in the controller's macro file to start programs, update settings, and change alarm parameters. Number 1. Fail-safe temperature controller programming. The newest versions of the Synergy controller can program external temperature limit controllers, such as the Yokogawa UT150L. Using this feature, test engineers can set the fail-safe limit controller parameters at the beginning of the test program and at multiple times during the test as required. Next, we move on to the top main screen and graphing features. Number 5. Channel Text Size The main screen layout options now include large, medium, and small channel text size, with the option to display a real-time process graph below the small text size. Number 4. Additional Sensor Displays the main screen can display up to 18 additional sensor readings, including UUT thermocouples, RTDs, and other test variables. Number 3. Chamber Light Button and Chamber Switch The main screen features an optional chamber light button, as well as a programmable chamber switch, which can be used to trigger events such as a basket transfer and to indicate the basket's position in a thermal shock test. Number 2. Improved Graph Accuracy the Synergy Controller's Process Graph's increased accuracy allows users to view process variables, set points, and other data in real time. Number 1. Adjustable Axes The graph time scale is now programmable in 11 ranges from 5 minutes to 60 hours, and magnitude range limits for each channel are individually programmable. Now we look at logging and network plotting features. Number 5. PID Value Logging The Synergy Controller can log PID values, constants, and variables to assist with chamber tuning and troubleshooting. Number 4. File Naming and File Header When exporting log files to a USB, users have the option to give the file a descriptive user-friendly name. Additionally, each log file contains a file header identifying the chamber name, software version, as well as other parameters including runtime and export time and date. Number 3. Usage Warning and Log Full Behavior The Synergy Controller History Log File has a capacity that is now adjustable up to 100 megabytes, 
with a programmable capacity warning. You can also specify whether the controller stops logging or overwrites the oldest log records when the log file is full. Number two, profile logging and auto remove. The Synergy controller can capture data from individual profile tests and save them as uniquely named CSV log files. Profile plots can automatically be printed or emailed at the conclusion of each test or exported in either table or plot format at a later time. With the auto remove capability, once the number of profile logs has gone above a user selected level, the controller will automatically remove the oldest stored log files. Number 1. Network Plotting Your Synergy controller can create PDF plots of your test results data and send these plots to a color printer, to your email as a PDF attachment, or to your Synergy server. Now it's time for events and programming features. Number 5. Event Output Screen the Event Output screen provides a simple programming interface for nine general purpose user controlled event outputs. For temperature and humidity chambers, three humidity control event outputs can be programmed to optimize the chamber for a wide range of conditions. Number 4. Display Friendly Names Function names such as GN2 Purge and LN2 Enable are easily assigned to each event on the Event Output screen for clarity. Number 3. Pause Step the programming screen's add step wizard features a pause step, which pauses the program until the user presses run. Number 2. Ramp Rate Calculator The add step wizard calculates the ramp rate based on the ramp time in the set points. You can also press the Apply Rate button to set the step time based on the ramp rate requirement and the set points. Number 1. Wait for Tolerance The wait for tolerance specifies a tolerance window around the wait for setting. When executing a wait for step, the program will not advance until the process variables are within this tolerance. Next, we count down the new alarms features. Number 5. Deviation Alarms Deviation alarms will trigger when the process variable has deviated from the set point by the user-defined deviation limits. These alarms can be masked on a step-by-step -step basis for ramp-ups or cooldowns. Number 4. Alarm Delays To reduce false alarms, delays can be added to any channel, user, or deviation alarm. Your alarm will trigger only if the alarm conditions have been met for a user-specified alarm delay period. Number 3. Resume Behavior Options In addition to stopping the program, alarms can now pause the program, allowing the user to clear the alarm and resume the program from where it left off. Number 2. Custom Behavior Users can enable custom alarm behaviors, such as driving an event relay or a light tree. Number 1. Programmable Alarm System The Synergy Controller's User Programmable Alarm System can create customer-specific alarms for RTD temperatures, UUT temperatures, as well as voltage inputs, digital inputs, and auxiliary sensors, such as oxygen and pressure. And last but not least, we have the top miscellaneous features. Number 5. Virtual Sensors The Synergy Controller supports a variety of virtual sensors for specialized applications, including wet bulb dry bulb sensors for humidity chambers, virtual K-feet sensors for altitude chambers, a flexible multi-sensor for calculating minimum, maximum, and average sensor values and for sensor redundancy, as well as several other virtual sensors. Number 4. Remote Start and Stop Feature the Synergy Controller supports a remote start and stop button using one or two normally open push button switches. Number 3. Chamber Name Users with multiple chambers can assign each chamber a unique name, which will appear in log file headers and emails. Number 2. Legacy Features Newer versions of the Synergy Controller contain settings and features from earlier Synergy and Versa 10 controllers for backward compatibility. Number 1. Analog Programming for Setpoints With this feature, setpoints can be programmed with an analog input from another control system, such as a PLC. And the final feature in this video is one that gives the Synergy Controller the flexibility to handle virtually any test chamber function. First introduced in 2013 for Synergy certified OEMs and installers, 
PLC programming functions can be used to implement many powerful operations, such as unlimited heating and cooling stages, basket transfer logic, compressor pump down, timed defrost, compressor discharge temperature control, and compressor short cycle protection. General purpose programming features are implemented with control logic blocks, such as thermostatic on-off output functions, time proportioning outputs, selector functions, latch functions, and logic output functions. This logic programming example implements the basket transfer and basket jam alarm for a thermal shock chamber. This basket transfer application uses six logic blocks implementing AND, OR, and NOR functions with timers to monitor the door switches and control the transfer up, transfer down, and the transfer jam alarm outputs. The controller documentation and tools represent these general purpose programming features with Boolean logic, but there is a corresponding relay circuit representation for them as well. This diagram shows one Synergy controller and logic block in the equivalent relay timer circuit. This logic programming example implements automatic defrost. This application uses five logic blocks to time the defrost cycle and implement timed evaporator temperature and PV deviation termination logic. The five screenshots below the diagram are the Synergy controller folders that specify the parameters for each function. This wraps up our first Synergy controller new features overview. The good news is if you are interested in any of these features, free software upgrades are available for all current generation controllers and processor hardware upgrades are available for earlier models. Feel free to contact us with any questions you have about controller features or software upgrades. Thank you for watching.